Today we're gonna to make some nice fresh bread right outside in our pizza oven. I'm gonna give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. First, what you do is add your yeast to a cup of water with a tablespoon of sugar, and you let it rest for at least five to seven minutes until it bubbles up. Add an egg, three tablespoons of oil, and two and a half cups of flour. Now we're going to add a dough hook to the machine and start whipping this up as you can see until it's nice and creamy I guess you could say then add a ha another half a cup of flour and finish whipping this dough up folding this dough together at this point what we did was took and made it into a ball and oiled the bowl and we put the dough ball into the bottom of the bowl and then we covered it up with plastic wrap and then I put a dark cloth over it to kind of keep it dark to where it would dry to the top of the bowl, as you see. Now what we're gonna do is spray the pan here with some pan spray and top it with a little bit of uh, grits because I want it to come up off the bottom of the pan quite a bit and then a little bit of cornmeal on top of that. So now we're going to start this dough here. We're going to take and stretch it out, roll it into a nice ball now that i pounded it down. And I'm going to lay it on the table here. And uh, we're going to cut this thing in half to where I make two loaves out of it. Little short, not baguettes, but just regular baguette-looking little loaves of bread. And I'm going to take and uh, roll these up together inside of each other, like as you can see. Now what I do is take and roll it and just kind of fold and make a nice little loaf out of each one and set it back onto the pan here. Take a pair of scissors. At this point, what I'm going to do is take and dock this bread with a pair of scissors to give it a nice little design on top before we throw it in that oven. It's going to... This is cornmeal. It's going to give a nice crunch on the outside. We'll let this proof and bake for about... We'll let it proof for about... 40 minutes till it rises, doubles the size, and we're gonna throw it in that pizza oven and see what we come up with. Now you can see this bread has risen up pretty well. I'm gonna take and uh, slide in here to this pizza oven and gonna let it go to about eight minutes, seven, eight minutes. It won't take it very long because this oven is uh, cranking pretty good. And so now we got that thrown in there, we can sit back, chill, relax, and let this oven do its business. As you can see here, I'm studying this bread real well, ready to dig in, but the bottom of it's not cooked the way I really want it, so I'm gonna take, and, uh, slide, take my pill here, slide it off this here pan, and throw it back in the oven, get a nice little crunch on the bottom, because that's what this oven's all about, but at the same time, I didn't want the bread to stick to the pill, trying to get it in there, because it's not like a pizza, it's a heavier loaf of bread that I'm trying to cook up here. So let's give this a minute and see what we come out with as it cooks nice and slow in here. Of course, it's not slow. It's pretty darn quick. Yeah, looking at that bread, I had to pull out. Look at here. Doesn't that look a lot better? That's what I'm talking about. Let's set it up here, and we're going to take a couple of slices off this baby and get a little butter and see what we got. Yeah, baby. I'm going to